In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The glory of the Lord is declared to the world. Let us worship and praise Him. Lord, open our lips. That we may glorify and praise Your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You who by now stand in the house of our God. Lift up your hands towards the holy place, and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. The Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The psalm set for today is Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaim his end wicked. One day tells it to another, and the night to night communicate knowledge. There is no speech or language, nor are their voices. Yet the sound has gone out throughout all the world, and they are way to the end of the earth. There he has pitched a tent for the sun, which come out as a bright groom from his chamber, and rejoice like a strong man to run his course. Its rising is at one end of the heavens, and its circuit to the furthest bound. And nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, Reviving the soul. The command of the law is true, and make it wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, and rejoice the hearts. The commandment of the law is pure, and give light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, and endures forever. The judgment of the law are unchanging, and the righteous everyone. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey, than the honey that drip from the corn. Moreover, by them is your servant talks. And in keeping them, there is great reward. Who can know his own unwitting sins? Or cleansing me from my secret fault. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get the mastery over me. So I shall be clean and innocent of great offense. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sons. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and will be forever. Amen. The reading is written in the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, reading from verse 30. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them, and the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. Here ends the lesson. Thanks to Lord. Today, in the life of the Church, we commemorate the Holy Innocents. The massacre or slaughter of the Innocents is an incident in the natality narrated by St. Matthew in the Gospel of St. Matthew, Chapter 2. It tells of how the Magi visited Jerusalem to seek guidance as to where Jesus, the King of the Jews, has been born. So when Herod the Great, who was king of Judea at the time, heard this, he was understandably frightened because he did not understand the spiritual nature of the kingship of Jesus. So Herod directed the Magi to Bethlehem and asked them to return to him and report where Jesus had been born. But they were warned in a dream that Herod wished to find the child and kill him. So they returned to their country by a different route. And so when Herod learned that he was tricked, he ordered the execution of all male children who were two years old and under in the vicinity of Bethlehem in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Christians venerate the Holy Innocents as the first Christian martyrs. Many biblical scholars, however, consider the story to be fabricated or unhistorical. Nevertheless, the Church has continued to commemorate the Holy Innocents over the years based on the inclusion of the events in the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Today, as we remember the Holy Innocents, we think of all the children who have lost their lives because of war and especially in the current conflict between Palestine and Israel in the land that we call holy. We also think of all the children who survived but are scarred by the experience of violence and trauma. We think of parents who lost their children or parents who are unable to protect their children and the impact that it has on them. We also think of the children on the Cape Flats and in South Africa who are exposed daily to violence, be it physical or emotional or any other form. We also are mindful of children who have passed during the current holiday season, those who have lost their lives for various reasons, and so we commit them to God as well. We also pray for all children who are returning to school this week and in the weeks to come, and we pray that God will bless them 
and keep them during the year ahead. And so, in a moment of silence, let us pray for all children and we remember especially those who are caught up in the conflict of war and situations which I have mentioned. So let us have a time of silent prayer and reflection. Jesus said to them, Let the little children come to me, do not stop them. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. The Psalm of Mary my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on his slow servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with the good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has delivered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Today we bring before God the Diocese of Buiga in the Anglican Church of Rui. We pray for the Diocese of Johannesburg, the Round Reverend Stephen Morello, Bishop of Johannesburg. We pray for all clergy, all in leadership, or in ministry, all members and communities in which they find themselves. May your light shine on them and grant them your grace, dear Lord, your guidance in the year ahead. In our own diocese, we pray for the Church of St. Paul in Cape Town. We pray for the Victor. Reverend Sean Cazette. We pray for the wardens, Oscar Abrams, Anthea Matthews, and Dennis Fredericks. We give thanks for the mission and ministry of St. Paul's Church, especially as they celebrate the paternal festival this month. We pray for a fruitful academic year for St. Paul's Primary School and for the leadership of Ms. Ye Mukutiwa, the principal. We pray for all who work in or visit St. Paul's guest house and especially for Jared Fredericks, the guest house manager. We pray also for the leaders of small group ministries as they answer the call, come, let us rebuild. We pray for parishioners, clergy, leadership, and the local community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our year's mind today, we remember Brenda Victoria Randall. We give thanks to God for her life on earth for what she has meant to her family and loved ones, and we pray that God will comfort them during this day. Lord, in your mercy. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, be gracious to our land, and merciful here when we call upon you. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your servants shout for joy. O Lord, make your ways known upon the earth. Let all nations acknowledge your saving power. Give your people the blessing of peace, and let your glory be over all the world. Make our hearts clean, O God, and renew the right spirit within us. We pray the college for the holy innocence. Heavenly Father, children suffered at the hands of Herod, though they had done no wrong. Give us grace not to be indifferent in the face of cruelty or oppression, but to defend the weak from the tyranny of the strong. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we continue to pray the quality of the day. Creator God, our soul's delight, your voice thunders over the waters, liberating the future from the past. Speak your affirming word that we may share in the baptism of Jesus Christ, drink from his cup 
and serve the world in his name, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We pray the calling for peace, followed by the evening collect. Eternal God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that, free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy, bring us in all perils and dangers of the night for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. Amen.